The convoy's arrival in Syria marked its entrance into the Arab world. And as was expected, the people of Syria greeted the mission from Europe with boundless enthusiasm. It's just beautiful and it makes it worth coming here. Uh, and inshallah we will go to Gaza with this kind of reception and we, have, we will show our solidarity with our brothers and sisters there. It's just overwhelming, I cannot believe it. You know? And all those thousands of miles that we have travelled, uh, every inch has been worth it. And I will travel this route again, a million times again. The Palestinian issue is one that many Syrians feel passionate about. And so the humanitarian mission has struck a chord with both the people and their government. The convoy has been receiving large amounts of coverage in the Syrian media and the Syrian government has provided a police escort and accommodation for the drivers. The approach has been similar to the way the Gaza aid convoy was received during the previous leg through Turkey. There too, the Palestinian issue remains one of deep concern. The aid mission, which left London two weeks ago with 80 vehicles, is now almost double that size with the addition of dozens of vehicles from the Turkish IHH charity. It may grow further yet, pending the release of 40 vehicles, which were refused permission to drive to the Rafah crossing by the Egyptian authorities during the US version of Viva Palestina earlier this year. They should be imminently uh, boarding a boat heading from Iskenderia in Egypt to Mersin in the south of Turkey. And if these things go optimally, we can have the vehicles on the road uh, catching us up uh, and joining us in Aqaba before we cross into Egypt. Charities in Syria have said they also want to assist the effort with dozens of tons of more aid to add to the stock the convoy is already carrying. The success of the first Viva Palestina convoy in getting the majority of its aid through to Gaza in March this year has provided donors with hope that it can pull it off again despite the Israeli blockade. With the Syrians attempting to outdo Turkey in terms of hospitality, this should be one of the easier legs of the journey. Next, the convoy will pass through Jordan and will then sail to Egypt, where it may face some major obstacles in its mission to Gaza, although organizers remain optimistic. Hassan Ghani, Press TV with the Viva Palestina aid convoy in Syria.